Hey guys, it's Tom. Welcome back to the layout. So I know I haven't done a lot of videos uh, in the last month. I've been pretty busy with work, traveling, and so forth, but there was work done to the layout. So here's a few pictures of what the layout currently looks like. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be running a few trains and doing some commentary in the background. So uh, enjoy, and I'll kind of go over everything I've done since March 2021. So like I said, this video is gonna be a little bit different. I got a few trains running here. They're my brothers. He happened to be home for the weekend and I ended up recording. So in the front of the train that's passing right now uh, is a B&O SD40 followed by a Chessie GP38 and a Western Maryland GP38 as well. So they're running a constant of boxcars in the inner loop. So in the outer loop, we got a Conrail GP38 pulling a coal train. Um, so this is all my brothers as well. And I think that Conrail we ended up getting at a thrift store, or one of those uh, hobby shops for about five bucks. Uh, there's this place in upstate Connecticut that ends up uh, having a bunch of trains go through relatively cheap. Uh, so we ended up doing it there. Also that Western Maryland that went by in the inner loop uh, was the same situation. I think I brought up this shop before. Uh, I ended up picking up the Santa Fe Mikado and the Prairie. So it's always kind of fun picking up trains through shops like that. So this is a quick shot of two cars in town. Uh, those two were from the new Hobby Link uh, lot we ended up getting back in February. So I did this shot because we actually don't film a lot back here. Uh, this is that warehouse on the back side of town on the outer loop, that outer spur that runs around town. So I thought it was kind of an interesting shot, kind of looking at the loading dock and the truck, but the, the train pulling in behind it. Um, I ended up working out, um, and I believe the next shot, we turned towards the water tower in the public water building, or the water supply building towards the farm. So we look towards the farm and the water tower and the roof of the public water supply building. Um, we've seen this shot many times, but I've always kind of loved the two trains or two tracks running by each other op in opposite directions. Um, that's kind of, you know, the general theme I do on this layout, just kind of trains passing by each other. I rarely run them together um, in the same direction. It just kind of adds a little bit more, uh, you know, variety, especially when we're running on the layout. So I wanted to include this shot because these were the first two models I constructed in maybe like 10, 15 years. Um, they ended up working out pretty well. I did a little bit of hyper detailing to them. I think my favorite part was actually doing the brick, the brickwork itself and kind of blending that. And then as, if you can look at the chimneys, um, put a bunch of soot on top um, and my brother's more, a better detailer than I am. And he actually said it was, it was pretty good. So I'll keep doing that as we, as we go forward. So another building I ended up doing since March 2021 was the building to the right. That's the new yard office we bought from the Hobby Link lot. Um, so I constructed it a few months ago, but I finally started detailing it. Um, give it that kind of dirty, sooty look because it's right next to the rail yard. Um, I've always kind of loved this shot because, as you can see, the telephone wires, um, that's the thread I, I talked about using before. It really adds a little bit of depth to the layout. Um, makes it a little bit more realistic. Um, and if you can look at the telephone poles, the, the nickel plated boxes and transformers. I, again, these little things really add to the layout. Um, and these are the things I actually enjoy most. So this is another cool shot. It's looking towards the town from the gas station area. Um, so I think we purchased this gas station kit a while back, maybe June or July of last year. And my brother ended up detailing it. I think it needs a little bit more detailing, but I really love this shot. Um, looking at the gas station and the service center, have the wrecker there, um, a car getting worked on right in front of the shop, and then the gas pumps. Again, those need to be detailed as well, but it's the little stuff that we wanted to end up doing on this layout. I think we wanted to do a diner here, but we ended up uh, voting for a gas station, and I think it really worked out in this shot. 
So again, another shot we rarely see. This is on top of the, the fuel tank, uh, the golf fuel tank in the middle of the layout, looking towards the canal. And as you can see, I cleaned out the canal. I know I talked about in the last video, putting some, uh, some glue in there, some glossy glue to kind of liven up the water. I think that'll be the next step for that. Um, and in the back of the layout, it looks like I'll probably finish the, the electric um, so I can get out of there and kind of move to the canal and then eventually do the rail yard with some new ballast. So this shot kind of showcases one of the locomotives we rarely see. It's a General Electric 70 ton uh, yard switcher, or in this case it's a dock switcher. Uh, I ended up getting this locomotive when I was a kid, maybe 2005 to 2010, I'm, I'm not really sure when I got it. Uh, but it's a Bachman DCC and it works out well in this layout. Never had any mechanical problems with it. I remember cleaning it out maybe a few months ago and just making sure everything worked out or working in good shape and it did. Um, so in this shot it's pulling two Union Pacific boxcars out of the yard. Um, and to the left you see one of the, the new Delaware and Hudson cabooses I got. So I got a, a lot of three for that. I got a really good deal on those. Um, and those and one of those you'll see in the next few shots. So as always, I run my Challenger, uh, my DNH Challenger, and today's configuration is the pusher assisting setup um, for anthracite runs in the 1940s on the Delaware and Hudson. Again, we see this gas station shot, um, one of my new favorite shots in the layout, it kind of shows off the town, so I think I'll keep doing those in, in the future. And this shot is probably one of my favorite in the video, um, especially with the new shanty that we did back in February. Um, and the, the rock outcrop, the telephone pole, the trees, and then the, the two-track layout of the two-track setup, um, it really makes up for a good shot. I wanted to thank all my viewers and subscribers um, and always appreciate those who comment on my layout. Um, it definitely helps. The constructive criticism always helps. Um, again, this is a learning, growing hobby, so any comments are always appreciated, and I'm more than happy to share our content on our layout. All right, guys, take care.